Don't you just love when you get up early, everywhere is still, and it's just you, the landscape, and the rising sun. Good morning, everyone. Well, it's been a while since um, I've done a video, and um, obviously I've doing a bit of a, a survey a few months back now. Uh, some people said, be nice to see what you do in the background, Vic, of your photography. So, this morning, um, I decided to come up onto Manto. Because um, earlier I was this morning, I think it was about half past two, um, I was over in the Glossop area, and there was a massive, thick cloud inversion going on, uh, just over Charlesworth. So it prompted me to uh, decide to get up this morning, and uh, take a drive over to, to Manto, have a walk up onto the top, um, hoping that it'd be just as thick um, the cloud inversion over here um, as it stands at the moment um, th there is a little bit going on in the valley but there is time for that to pick up um, it's Todd's Laura if it doesn't um, but yeah like you know, the rise of the sun this morning was like really orange so I couldn't video that because uh, it was a bit of a rush to get up here and uh, get the camera gear set up uh, try and capture a little bit of that um, as it stands, um, the, the sun still hasn't risen yet. I'm still waiting for it to come up to the for over the horizon. Um, so yeah, I might just give you a little uh, quick peek and uh, see what you think. But you, you'll see a bit of the cloud inversion that's going on, but it's, it's, not, it's not massive at the moment. It's a bit of a, a disappointment after seeing what I saw last, well, early hours this morning. So uh, it goes a minute and I'll uh, give you a little show of it. So as you can see, we've got a, a little bit going on in the valley, of, uh, just over here. And uh, as you can see, down here towards where the uh, cement works are, which is more that way, uh, which I've got captured in the camera. And I'll see if I can get it, there you go, just stacking it down a little bit. You can see the sun's just not quite come up as yet. So I'm waiting for that and hopefully, you know, a little bit of sky cloud going on here from the plains. Um, we, might, we might get something decent out of it. It's, uh, hopefully it won't be a wasted trip, which is good. Other than that, at least I've got a few steps in this morning. Um, I'll try to show you uh, a little bit of what I've already captured um, this morning already. Just give us a minute, let's try and get a bit of a, bit of a preview going. Uh, unfortunately my camera won't let me turn it around when I'm on a video, so you have to just bear with me a second. But, uh, Hopefully, you can see a little bit of that. I know it's a bit blown out on the video for you there, but you know, we've got a little bit of the cloudy version going on. That lovely orange sky that we had within the last 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, so, I'm hoping that uh, comes out. So, I'm uh, working with my Canon R5, uh, it's a mirrorless camera. I've got a 24 to 70 lens on and I've also got a Lee filter hard grad on the front because obviously it's quite bright. Um, it started to, to fade off a little bit so I might be able to, you know, alter that a little bit. But uh, yeah, looks like I'm just sitting and waiting for a little bit now. See what happens with this cloud because I just can't make my mind up what it's going to do. But, at least I've got a few hours to go and then it's, uh, it'll be over to Charlesworth to go and join the High Peak Riding Club Christmas ride this morning so I'll be uh, getting plenty of steps in today and uh, yeah, see how it goes like I say, if anything changes here I'll add it on to the end of this video but if it doesn't, at least you've had a little look at what I've do and uh, once I get the images edited I'll be able to put them up on my webpage and also uh, my Facebook page you also have a little nose here. So we finally get a sunrise and uh, as you can see it's now starting to illuminate some of this cloud down on the base there. We're getting a, a lovely bit of sky effect going on as well. Oops, there you 
go we'll see it again so yeah got some managed to capture a couple of decent images up to now um working on a f11 um 20th of a second iso 100 or 125 actually at the moment because uh just need to twiddle some things but hopefully as you can be able to see from my screen it's uh started to look good and i'm gonna tilt it right with this phone I'm trying to work backwards it's still a downside with these cameras on the phones ignore the blinky bit that's just telling me that uh obviously it's a bit bright what do you expect from the sun but, uh, here's our brightest light ever isn't it so yeah there you go sunrise it has happened so let's get a few more shots of this see what happens with the cloud and uh yeah got a couple of hours to spare before i have to shoot off so fingers crossed we can get some more images uh, captured hopefully some more missed keep you posted any more videoing uh, me talking to the camera unfortunately there was quite a few people around at the time and uh, I said to sign a bit to uh, seem a bit silly talking to myself but I hung around for a bit longer anyway and as you can see I'm glad I did you know I've got some lovely rays coming through over the mist you know covering over the cement works and uh, made some really really good uh, images to be honest um, and then after a bit, I made my way back up over the tops and towards the car. Um, and I have also shared with you there that uh, there was two people walking their dogs dressed up as Christmas crackers. Uh, not for any particular reason, just wanted a bit of Christmas cheer and, uh, you know, enjoy the landscape themselves. And uh, as you can see at the end of the video, um, I made my way over towards Monk's Road in the direction that I was heading off home and uh, managed to capture some of the landscape and the mist that was lingering over Manchester. So I thought I'd share them with you as well at the end. But other than that, what a fantastic day. And um, I'll try and make some more videos in the future.